So now we've had a chance to put some miles on it. Fully loaded, 19,000 on the truck axle, 9,000 on the trailer. Heavy trailer, lots of tongue weight, big heavy camper, loaded for long haul travel. I'm here again with Jared's son from Stable Camper and his awesome rig. A few weeks ago, we did a video about his liquid spring suspension system. Back then we were in Oregon and he hadn't had a chance to fully load his rig with the trailer and the camper. So we really just discussed the system and the unloaded ride quality. And now we have a chance to hear how it rode fully loaded on a what, cross country trip. Yeah. 19,000 on the truck axles and 9,000 on the trailer axle. So we're, we're running heavy. We're carrying a lot of product. The camper's fully loaded for long haul. We have dual fuel tanks, so we're a heavy truck going down the road. So this is our first opportunity to try the liquid spring fully loaded. We left Oregon in early January and set off and made it to Florida in four and a half days for the Florida RV Super Show. And then we had a couple weeks to make it over here to the Quartzsite Show. Across the country, back, back across to, the country. Back country. Yeah. And then we'll be heading home here really quickly too. A few weeks on the road, we've done so far, we're in Quartzsite now, so we've gone to Oregon, down to Florida, back here to Arizona, and we've done 7,500 miles so far. Wow. So that's like our- a month. In a month. Fully loaded. Well, I think the big question is, can you talk more about the, the ride quality sure. and, and what you've noticed now that you've had a chance to really to really use it? So as you've seen in the other video, we talked a lot about the unloaded ride quality of a class five truck that sprung from the factory versus this liquid spring system and it's night and day. There's, I mean, there's no comparison. This, this truck ran similar to between like an F-150 and F-250 truck. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Now that in the last few weeks we put 7,500 miles on this suspension system, we can come back and talk now about what it's like in this condition. So the low ride quality of this truck is, it's great. I mean, there's no doubt about it that the system is better loaded and unloaded with the liquid spring versus the sprung factory truck. What we first noticed when we started driving this truck loaded was the ride quality control. When it was unloaded, I just had the ride quality control set at normal. And the, the system gives us three different ride qualities, a sport mode that stiffens up the whole suspension to counteract some body roll and just give you a better cornering, if you will, and a soft mode. And so what I found is we've been on every kind of road, bridge transitions, dirt road, gravel roads. We've been in bad construction, all of it. And having those ride selectors have been awesome so we if we've driven one of these truck campers we get into the heavy construction or heavy bridge transitions or just poor roads having the selection to turn it down to soften the whole suspension is incredible now of course we get a little more body roll as we soften the suspension so like today when we leave here the wind will be blowing us around pretty well being able to stiffen the suspension all the way up to the sport mode from normal uh, really counteracts the body roll movement and, and the side pressure from the wind hitting the camper. So that was the first thing we noticed right away, that when it was unloaded, the ride quality selector, you know, in the normal mode, it, grew, it drove incredible. Now having the availability to change those selectors and stiffen and soften the ride depending on the road conditions while we're driving down the road dynamically is incredible. And, it, and it's immediate. So I might come into some hard roads and as soon as I hit this off, I can feel a difference right away. Yeah, so guys, sorry about the audio and stuff and we're, we're kind of just hung out behind this, this trailer right here because the wind is what, like 30 miles an hour. It's dusty. The rally really ended yesterday. We had beautiful weather, 80 degrees. Today, the wind picked up, so we're gonna try to do the best we can. In addition to the ability to change the stiffness of the ride and the you know counteract roll and also just take on bad road conditions, we also have the ability to change the height of the truck. So one of the things that we noticed right away is when I'm parking the rig somewhere, it's always on a downward slope. So just being able to drop the rear end of the truck and level it out easily that way was something that we use a lot. Also on many flatbed trucks, a lot of times they don't want to take fuel quite as well as a, a regular truck bed does because the fuels, the fuel inputs are a little bit lower. So if I'm at a gas station, the truck's not sitting flat, I can just lower the back end and drop this truck down. So that, that's been a huge bonus for us. It's just been able to control the elevation of the truck front to back while we're, while we're, while we're using the camper. The other, is, as you can see now, the truck's in the all the way low position right now, is access into the camper. The truck's down about four inches right now from normal ride height. So that's almost a full stair tread access on getting into the truck. Instead of having six stairs to get in the truck, I can get into the truck now with just a little step stool instead of it being quite so high off the ground. And that's been 
that's been really great. When I unload or load the truck, I just drop the truck all the way down. That's four inches down from normal ride height. And now I don't have to lift my camper quite as high as I had to in the past. The other thing I really like is I can also raise the truck four inches up, which would be eight inches up from what you see in the background here. So uh, we're out here in the desert. We've had to go through a few transitions, a few whoop-de-woos to get into here. And our truck is stock height. There's no lift on it, stock tires. So our, our normal ride height isn't that high. So if I'm ever worried about needing to go through something, I think I might drag the back end of it. I'm able to raise the truck up four more inches, which was eight inches above what you see here. In the last video, you mentioned the speeds at which you can have the, the different heights. Can you touch on that? On the selector in the, in the truck, I can change the ride quality on the fly anytime. So if I roll into a bridge transition or construction and I didn't see it coming, or we start into it and it's pretty rough, I can immediately go down and change to a softer suspension setting and it changes on the fly right now. The ride height I can change from zero to 10 miles an hour. So if I'm stopped or up to 10 miles an hour, I can change the ride height of the truck. And then once I hit 15 miles an hour, the truck will come back down to normal ride quality. So if I change, if I slow down, change the ride height to a higher ride setting to go through a transition, I just drive off. I don't have to stop the truck and reset anything. I just drive off, and once I hit 15 miles an hour, it'll bring the truck right back down to normal ride height. How often do you find yourself using the ride height control? Like, it sounds like every day, almost everywhere you go. Yeah, so, so just in my normal truck camper use, as far as transitions, like raising up to get over something steep, we're a big rig with, and we've been pulling a trailer, so we're watching what we're going into anyways. But as far as being able to drop the camper for access, every time we stop the camper, I push the button, it brings me down four inches and we're right into the camper. It's just such a, that four inches makes such a difference on access to your camper. And that wouldn't matter if you're on a big tall rig or you're on a shorter rig, four inches is four inches. Also being able to dump the rear end has been a huge win. I'll, I'll go into these RV dump stations and I'll, I'll be furious. Who designed these things? You know, who put this together? Why is the camper pointing forward? They all know they dump towards the rear. And so being able to just drop the back has been critical. I mean, I use that every time. I've suffered that many, many, many times. It's frustrating because you can't get a complete dump like yeah. that. Or you've got to put blocks on the front tire and that's always a pain if there's a line behind you. I just push the button, it drops the back, and I have a great flush. In the other video, we talked about some upcoming development in the liquid spring, which is the RV pad leveling. So if you if you take a look at the truck right now, I've got some blocks in the front tire to help us get level. Um, they've told me, hopefully by, in, by summertime, I'm hoping to have this update all completed. They're working on it now, it's in development, so that we won't have to put blocks in the tires anymore. So that is something that is gonna be the icing on the cake. We're super excited to see that come. It's called RV pad leveling. So overall, we've been very happy with the system. So let me address some of the questions that have come up since we posted the last video. One of them is about the complexity and reliability of the system. And that was definitely a concern we had in putting it into our truck. And whenever you change anything aftermarket on a truck, whether it's lights, winch, bumpers, suspension, anything, of course you're changing from the factory engineered settings. Those settings, the engineers at Ford, Dodge, Ram, whoever, they set these trucks up for a generic use case with a generic need. And in many cases, many of us change that. And it could be lights, it could be stereos, it could be GPS, whatever it may be. And this is no different than any other aftermarket product. Of course, we should be cautious and curious about what that does to our truck when we do those things. We had the same concerns when we were putting the system on our truck, because it is a pretty major concern. We're pulling out all the suspension system and replacing it with an aftermarket system. One thing that put our mind to ease is the Liquid Spring Company grew up working and putting these systems on ambulances, and they've been doing that for nearly a decade. And our, you know, our personal justification was they wouldn't be in business long if they were reducing the reliability of service vehicles like an ambulance in the field. If they couldn't keep those running and keep their reliability rate on those vehicles high, I don't think they'd still be in business. And that was kind of what how we justified it in our minds when we looked at this level of modification to our truck. And that gave us a level of comfort that, um, that they've been around for a long time, they've done a lot of research, they've done a lot of work in the field. They're just now coming into the RV and the pickup and overland marketplace. They've been doing this for a long time. So that gave us a lot more confidence that, we, that our truck would be okay. Because like I said earlier in the video, 
we get in the truck four and a half days later we're in Florida we don't have time for failure modes and things not working so this is probably their first truck camper system and there's a couple of small issues and I've worked with their customer service team they're very on the spot they're right there available I know they have dealers and installers all around the country so I put all of that together and I made me feel a lot more comfortable going into this system and this was when, when we were first initially looking at it the other question comes up about cost these cab chassis trucks with especially with these large campers and loads they do great. I mean, moving from a 3500 to this truck was night and day difference. And this system isn't for everybody. This is just like any other aftermarket system that it's for those that want it or have a use case that need it. And like I said in the other video, we looked at all kinds of suspension upgrades to these, not necessarily out of need. The truck worked great, just out of want. The cost varies depending on what you what you're getting, what truck, you know, the whole application. So Variables that might change price might be the, the vehicle you're driving, whether it's a 60 inch and 84 inch. I'm not sure if there's a price difference on those. Um, also, they have a two inch lift, lifted system for Fords right now that is for su mainly for super singles, or if you just want a two inch lifted liquid spring system, they're developing it for Ram right now as well. So costs can vary depending on what you want. You should contact Liquid Spring if you're interested in this system and understanding more what the, the cost is for your specific application. So now that we've put some miles on it, running this truck at nearly capacity, um, cross country back, you know, 7,500 miles in a short amount of time, uh, that plus all the features we get with, with the system, and now we really get to see the value of those with the truck camper on there, we're really pleased with the system. This is our stable camper demo truck, our work truck, everything. So now that we've had this bed system on here, and now with the added suspension system, maybe it's time to change this up. So hopefully here in the near future, Scott will be doing a video on on a rebuild on this truck into an overland system. That is exciting. Yeah, it's going to be a cool system. Overall, wrap up the liquid spring. We're super happy with it. The features, the ride quality, reliability of it. So, far, I mean, we, sure, it's only 7,500 miles, but the thing has worked flawlessly. There's not been one problem. and We've been pushing it hard and heavily loaded. I find it for our use case and what we wanted out of it, it's, it's a great value for what we've gotten out of it. We're really happy with it. Well, Jared, thank you for the, the update on this. It's, I'm a little jealous. I'm actually, I'm very jealous. You have a, a beautiful rig. I really love it. And yeah, we got a lot of questions about everything you touched on and just generally the, the overall feeling you have is, is it's a good system, especially for what you do. Yeah, yeah, we're really happy. The question is, would you do it again? We, yeah, would you buy it again? We would do it again. Okay. Our next truck will have it too. I think that, that speaks volumes right there. Yeah, I, I would do it again. Thank you very much. Um, sounds like you're getting more smiles per mile out of oh, this rig. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we continue to roll. Well, that's awesome. It sounds like you have some, some upcoming stuff that we can maybe do a video again in the future. Yeah, um, I'd There's love to see what coming. you're building. And uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in another video. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.